I had to breathe heavy. I had to. A form of meditation, maybe. Maybe just a, a release. Um, we, we have a, a pretty tough subject, a couple of them here, that we're going to cover today that are very relatable in the way that if you let yourself truly get involved in the conversation, you will see that there, there's potential here. There's potential to grow in areas that you have been afraid to, you know, to be with, and, and you walk away from it more than you walk toward it. Putting yourself in that place, and you might be asking, what place? A place of thought, a place of comfort, success, answers when we feel like there are never any answers. What place are you seeking? Does this place require a deeper investment? How much? How far? When will you know that you've arrived in that place? Asking yourself questions gives off the scent of procrastination. Oh, we'll deal with it when I'm in the mood to come up with a solution. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm afraid to make that leap of faith until forced. Most of us see change coming long before it suddenly shifts our lives into a brutal dip in ambition or instant anxiety driven to push a new stage into place, which can lead to other mistakes. Or are they? What if getting to that place needs lessons learned? The value of the experience. Landing a key to the front door of that place is only a step. Now you have to get to that place to build a collaboration with you. Hey, it's Errol. This is The Daily Mess, a chronological walk through an everyday world. I am a daily writer. I want to talk about that place, your place, whose ever place. We all are looking for that. And when we get there, was it what you thought it was going to be? I bring that up in ways um, because it, the, I, I spent 36 years of my radio life trying to get to that place now that i'm 43 years into it that place happens to be streaming but streaming was not available the first 36 years of my radio career at least here we can have a conversation during those first 36 years what we had was just a moment a seven second intro maybe maybe i shared the forecast maybe i said merry christmas when we were playing christmas music that place this is the daily mess Pouring your emotions onto a page. There used to be a time when sending letters was the greater communicator. Social media today is our present day stage with all ways to bring a message forward, be it a text, email, video, music, or even advertising, no matter what. We measure our space in this place by the internet. The clutter of communication is reaching through you and too much of it is clinging to your ability to think. I've began a new journey in asking book authors if the metaverse is going to change storytelling. I mean, every one of them pause when I bring that up because they have to think about what their answer is going to be. Books, short stories, poetry, and even journaling is going to go through a change when it comes to making a connection with the imagination. I've met many top name musicians who want to be a part of the soundtracks that are going to be released inside these metaverses. So I find myself writing a letter. Dear future reader, will you be there to find my daily writing? Where will our emotions eventually grow? And will there be a harvest? Where are we? It's that place, right? That place. But we can't seem to paint the picture to better describe what that place looks like or how we want to design it. And isn't that what the metaverse is going to be about? Is that you're going to be in control of that place that you want to be. But once you disconnect from the reality of the moment, then this place changes. I was talking with an author this morning, and, and, and the subject was based on where are students today? And I said, I think the metaverse is going to change people. And the author quickly came back and said, is gonna change people? They're already disconnected. And his comment was, have you ever seen a young adult who doesn't have their telephone or their smartphone? He says, they don't want to talk on it. They want pictures. They, they want to send text messages. But it's not a telephone anymore. It's just their world designed the way they want to. So as a creative mind to another creative mind, I ask, where are you going to go in order to be 
in that place. For many actors, directors, writers, and other people who make moving pictures a big thing, look at the places that are now being offered to them. There are so many different streaming outlets where they can put their art. It doesn't even have to be a quality-driven show. It can be anything, but they found that place. But once they got into that place, did it have the payoff that someone thought it would have? And we have to deal with that because as creative people, and we're all creative, there's nothing worse than saying, I used to be. I'm Errol, and that's The Daily Mess.